When I started Sada Project 25 years ago, one of its founding principles was honest and direct communication with gamers. Hmm. That's funny. I seem to remember zero communication happening. And despite good reviews on PC, the console version of Cyberpunk 2077 did not meet the quality standard we wanted it to meet. Yeah. Huh. Maybe if you have actual integrity. Please don't fault any of our teams for what happened. They all are incredibly talented and hardworking. Myself and the board are the final decision makers and it was our call to release the game. Although, believe me, we never ever intended for anything like this to happen. Sir, the game's not ready for the release. Uh, but we need money. I'm talking about a multitude of custom objects, interacting systems and mechanics. In the game, everything is not stretched out over flat terrain where we can make things less taxing hardware-wise, but condensed in one big city. You're so mad, these reviews are so bad. What do we tell them? Things are complicated. You just can't understand. Big, very big, big equal hard. I think that time has proven that uh, we've underestimated the task. Every change and improvement needed to be tested, and as it turned out, our testing did not show a big part of the issues you experience while playing the game. As we got closer to the final release, we saw significant improvements each and every day, and we really believed we would deliver in the final day zero update. Uh, uh, boss, we got it up to from, from 10 FPS to 12. Good job, 20% improvement. Oh yeah, also, instead of five crashes per hour, you got it down to four crashes per hour. On launch day, December 10th, we hit the ground running with a really good start on PC. And every extra day of us working on the day zero update brought visible improvement. This is why we started sending console review keys on the 8th of December, which was later than we originally planned. So, uh, game comes out in two days, and we're still only at 15 FPS. Uh, if I could just send it out and NDA that shit. We have already released three hotfixes improving the game, but that's just the beginning. Thank Cyberpunk for this great and detailed update hotfix. Oh, it took up a whole gigabyte. Our ultimate goal is to fix the bugs and crashes gamers are experiencing across platforms. Please expect bigger and smaller patches on a regular basis. The first update will be dropping within 10 days, and it will be followed by another, more significant one in the following weeks. We will, of course, continue to work on the game in future updates and improvements beyond that. Ooh. Ooh. I guess I'll see a good game in 2022.